Hi, and welcome to episode 2 of Tacoma Gamic. On this episode, I will be reviewing the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I hope you enjoy, and remember, if you find this informative, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Every new listener is valued. Cheers! What could be better than an iPhone 12 for my birthday? That would be an iPhone 12 Pro Max, of course. Thanks to my gorgeous wife, I was fortunate enough to be on the receiving end of this amazing gift. Thanks needs to be given where thanks is due. And now that I have given thanks to my goddess great gift giving wife, I can move along to my early thoughts on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. For perspective purposes, I believe that I should firstly mention that the phone I was previously using was the iPhone XS Max. I had been a user of the iPhone XS Max for over three years, and it was, to put it mildly, quite simply an amazing device. If it wasn't for the gift of the iPhone 12 Pro Max, I would have probably held onto the XS Max for another couple of years. Although, it should be said that the XS Max was beginning to wear a little thin. For further perspective, it should also be noted that I am an extremely heavy user of the iPhone. Now, when I say I'm a heavy user, I mean to say that I use my device continuously, all day, even while at work. Over the years, the iPhone has become a vital research tool that I find I simply cannot live without. The overall initial transfer experience from the XS Max to the 12 Pro Max took several hours to complete. Account logins, etc. took up the majority of the time, but the initial setup of the iPhone 12 Pro Max was quick and easy. For example, the majority of the data accidentally transferred from my iPhone iCloud backup as I passed through a 5G hotspot on my way to work. My mobile data clearly showed this. A warning flashed up as I parked. You have used 80% of your available data with 23 days left in your billing cycle. I was surprised by both the excessive consumption rate and the speed at which the transfer had happened. Gone are the days of setting up each iPhone as a fresh device. This was the old way. Now I can safely say that transferring a 512 gigabyte device from one to another can happen without hiccups using the 5G network to get the job done quickly. Happy days indeed. After having set up the device, I began to play around with the newly improved camera features. The wide and ultra-wide angle lens options was something I was looking forward to using in particular. After all, having the ability to get more image in your image is never a bad thing. Finally, I could capture moments of action against grand backdrops without having to sacrifice perspective. The wide and ultra-wide lens are fantastic but the 12 Pro Max's camera really shines in low light settings. This is a feature that most users will not even have to consider while operating the device as it happens automatically and when it does occur, the difference between previous iPhone models is simply outstanding. This low light feature utilizes LiDAR technology to better enhance areas of darkness as well as help to improve the autofocus in low light settings. The results of a low light photograph on an iPhone 12 Pro compared to the iPhone XS is extremely obvious. The iPhone 12 Pro camera is without a doubt one of the biggest advancements of the device yet. But I say yet because there is a development that is bigger still. The setup from the step up from 4 gigabytes of RAM to 6 gigabytes of RAM makes for a massive improvement in the phone's ability to handle multiple tasks at any given moment. It has also improved many other aspects of the device, such as giving the users the freedom to do just about anything web-based anywhere you can get a decent cell phone connection. For example, 
I am a self-confessed smartphone zombie walker, also known as Smombie, who likes to write and walk at the same time. Better yet, you could say that I am a Smombie developer, as I enjoy walking, writing, developing, and publishing all on the go. There is simply no better experience that the iPhone 12 Pro has to offer other than the ability to utilize web publishing apps while on foot. This is something the XS really struggled at, but was something that the iPhone 12 Pro excels at. Finally, I can get my website published while out walking. This, in return, adds to greater productivity, which is exactly what the iPhone 12 Pro is simply all about. Allowing users the ability to smombie publish is one of the greatest accomplishments that Apple has yet achieved. Now the iPhone user can exercise and be productive all at the same time. Advancements and iPhone 12 Pro go hand in hand. My personal experience with devices would suggest that in the long run, it's the simple improvements that add to greater that add greatly to the user's experience of any device. Charging your phone is one of the most basic yet important aspects of any phone's usage. For Apple, making this easier and more efficient was the next natural step. This improvement in efficiency has been achieved by MagSafe, Apple's very own magnetic wireless charging system. Apple's MagSafe charging is a massive improvement from the previous wireless charging options that Belkin or Mophie have offered. With this simple advancement, there is now no need to concern yourself about whether your device is correctly centred over the charging pad. This was a problem on previous iPhones. Uncentered devices led to poor charging experiences. MagSafe eliminates this problem, as it will automatically centre your device, ensuring the most efficient wireless charging experience available. Another simple fix for a simple problem. Now that's Apple. And while we're on the subject of charging and batteries, it should be said that the battery life on the iPhone 12 Pro Max is especially exceptional. Even with heavy usage, it is hard to knock a grunt out of this phone. For perspective, at the end of a day at work, where I have been using the iPhone all day for various deeds, I am still able to return home with three quarters full battery. Apple scores again. Overall, the iPhone 12 Pro is a massive step forward in the world of sm smartphones. Finally, it's safe to confirm that Apple has bridged the gap between the smartphone and the personal computer. It is now possible to be a full-time schmombie, and as a result, the world of mobile productivity has been greatly improved. Thanks needs to be given where thanks is due. Thank you, Apple. Thanks for listening. If you happen to find this discussion informative or found any value in my opinions of the device, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Every new listener is valued. Cheers.